Welcome to Xar Template Tutorial Lesson Number 91. In this Xar Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to embed an external website into your existing website using the iframe. And the reason that I'm creating this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to embed an external website into your existing website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your toolbar and select the option for the rectangle quick shape. And go ahead and draw a rectangle in your workspace and then right click and go to web properties and when you go to web properties we're going to look for the, the tab that says placeholder so when you find that tab go ahead and left click on that and then within the placeholder properties we're going to look for the option that says replace with HTML code and in this case we're looking for HTML code for the body section so go ahead and left click on that and this is where we're going to write our iframe code. So you want to start off by writing an angle bracket and make sure that your angle brackets are exactly how they look on my screen. And then write the word iframe and then hit the space bar key. And this time we're going to write SRC. And what SRC stands for is source. And it's basically what is the source? Where is your where is this web page that I'm going to display on your website? And then write the equal sign, quotation mark, and then write in the domain name of the website that you want to embed into your personal website. In this case, I'm going to embed my website. So I'll write http colon forward forward slash www.sartemplate.com and then another quotation mark. So you write the name of that domain name that you want to use in quotation marks. And make sure that you include the http colon forward slash forward slash. You probably don't have to have that there but I think that you have to I can't remember off the top of my head it's been a while since I've used the iframe but I do believe that you have to have that there and if you do we'll find out in one moment once we move forward in the tutorial uh, so yes that's the next thing that you want to do is hit the space bar key and this time write the word height and then write the equal sign then quotation mark and I'm gonna write it at about I'll give it about a height of 650 and then another quotation mark then another space and this time we're going to write width and then write the equal sign quotation mark and I'm going to give it about a I don't know I'll give it about a 650 width again um, the same thing as I have for the height and then quotation mark and then after that we're going to hit another space between that and put a line equals quotation mark and this time we're going to write the word center quotation mark and then close it with an angle bracket. And so I'm going to break down really quickly what we just wrote here. iframe is just saying that we're using the iframe. So that's why you write iframe there. Source is saying where is the website that I'm going to display on your website. And height is the height of it and width is the width of that iframe. And that's in a pixel format. And remember in one of my previous tutorials I said that pixels represents a unit of measurement for your screens. And then a line equals center we're actually going to change that align the center. That should be align right in this case because the information that I want to display is kind of towards the right side of my screen a little bit. And well, it's not exactly to the right side of my screen, but I want to capture the right hand side of my screen so that you'll see more so towards the center part of, of the image that I'm going to show. But anyway, let's move forward. The next thing that you're going to write is your paragraph. So you would write your paragraph first starting tag just like what you see on my screen here and then you would write the word your web browser doesn't support iframes and the reason we're writing this is because some browsers may not support iframe so it will display this text if the iframe does not work and it's very important that your your tags look exactly how I have them on screen. Make sure that you have that forward slash before the P in this last tag here and then make sure for the starting tag that you have the angle brackets and the letter P exactly the same. And let's go ahead and hit enter and go to the next line and this time we're going to again write another angle bracket forward slash iframe then another angle bracket and this is our closing tag and a closing tag always has the forward slash before the iframe word and you see that the first iframe does not have a forward slash before it and that's because it's a starting iframe tag and the closing i tag the closing i the closing tag for the iframe has a forward slash before so hopefully that makes sense to you 
So this is what your your iframe information should look like. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And then in our web properties option, make sure that you have regenerate placeholder image automatically selected. Go ahead and left click that. Hit apply. And this is going to give us a preview in our workspace of what that iframe looks like. And as you can see, you see the iframe in my workspace. I'm going to select the selection tool so I can move this around. But you can see that we have a scroll bar here and you can see what content is displayed. But you notice that there's not a scroll bar at the bottom. And you may have to resize your iframe by clicking on one of these resize handles until you're able to see that other scroll bar. If you want your users to be able to scroll around in your uh, iframe that you created. So I'm going to keep adjusting this a little bit until I'm able to see that uh, horizontal scroll bar. And the reason I'm adjusting it vertical is because the horizontal scroll bar is further down is, and that's the reason that we can't see it. So I'm going to have to keep adjusting this a little bit more because I made it kind of tall. But eventually we'll, eventually we'll see that horizontal scroll bar. Okay, now we can see it. You see there's a, a horizontal scroll bar here. And I can see that my width is not quite as wide as it needs to be, so I'm going to stretch that a little bit as well and make sure that it's displaying the whole part of the website that it's supposed to. And I created a kind of a big uh, iframe, so you don't have to make yours as quite as big. Okay, now we've got it where it should be. You can see that we can see both of the arrows for the scroll bar, and you see the scroll bar itself. So I know that we've got the full iframe in view. So after that, let's go ahead and hit OK and go to File preview web page and you'll see that it displays the iframe and you, in this case you can see my photo slider on my website and you have the scroll bars in case your users need to scroll around to see where the information is at that they're looking for for that embedded website so hopefully this first part of the tutorial has helped you to at least understand how to embed the iframe I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna talk about some other things that you can do to the iframe as well so let's go ahead and close this out and then right click on your iframe go to web properties and then go to the placeholder tab click on HTML code body and when you bring this back up one of the other things I want to talk about is you can adjust the height and width you don't have to use the same values that I use so enter in whatever value you need to until it matches what you want maybe this iframe is too big then you would reduce the values for height and width Maybe you don't want it to align right. You would just go ahead and you would change it to align left, or you could just delete this whole line right here. I'm going to highlight it so you can see it on screen. If I can get it to highlight right, you can go ahead and just delete that whole tag if you want it to stay towards the left. I tried using align center, but for some reason it doesn't work well in Xar. I don't know if it's because of what version of HTML that they use to encode the website, but for some reason align center will not work. So. Anyway, the other thing that I want to talk about is that you can eliminate the scroll bars. Maybe you've got it in perfect view of how you want them to see that other website that you've embedded. In that case, you would go ahead and right after the line equals right, you hit sp the space bar key. And this time you would write uh, scrolling equals and then quotation marks, no quotation mark and then that would eliminate the scroll bars so we hit OK hit apply and you're gonna see that in this placeholder image that those scroll bars will disappear and as you can see we no longer have the scroll bars in our iframe so we hit OK and that's gonna regenerate the image again because I just hit OK but after that's done I'm gonna show you that we no longer have the iframes I mean we no longer have the scroll bars within the iframe so go to file preview web page and you'll see that we no longer have those scroll bars in our iframe. We just have a window where we can see part of my website. And you can click on the pictures and stuff and you can go through the different uh, photos just like you would if you were on my website except for in this case it's displaying it in an embedded iframe. You can even click on the links but that probably would end up taking you to my actual website. Well actually no, it stays within frame so you'll be able to actually view the website and click on other links right within that frame. I wasn't sure because I haven't done this in quite a while on uh, iframe. It's probably been a few years since I've done the iframe. But yeah, that's how you use the iframe. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, leave comments, uh, embed, subscribe, or share our video.
leave us thumbs up if it was helpful and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.